So, uh, can you introduce yourself? Yes. Michele Facci from Ericsson Business Development Department. And uh, can you tell us a little bit about the, the conference you've helped to organize, Michele? Yes, of course. Uh, this meeting uh, is about the role of the school in the digital age. Uh, it's not to speak only of, uh, for example, uh, uh, the technology in the school or the risk of the internet in the school, but we want to speak uh, of uh, uh, all of the uh, arguments in, uh, about the school in the digital age. Yesterday you talked about getting students to teach us or to talk to us about good sense on the internet. Can you give us a few examples? Yeah, of course. The problem, the risk uh, using the internet or information technology is not use or not use internet or technology in general, but is in which way you can use internet. So uh, an approach of good sense of internet is uh, use it, uh, think that internet is uh, an environment, is an environment in which we, you can uh, find everything. So uh, teachers have to teach, have to uh, tell to the student that internet is uh, like a big, big, big uh, world in which uh, they can find everything. So it's very important that uh, students uh, um, are not alone inside internet, but uh, teachers have to guide their students in the internet and uh, during the use of technologies. Mm -hmm. Thank you. And, uh... You've been talking about it now as well, um, but during this conference we've heard uh, different things about the risks of the internet, uh, especially here in Italy there's quite strict privacy laws, we've heard about uh, some of the psychological problems that students can have, uh, but we've also listened to some of the positive sides, uh, being able to get students to, to com connect with other students from around the world, teachers being able to raise money for, for their classrooms, that sort of thing. Uh, lessons that really grab students' attention. Um, what advice have you got for a teacher who would like to use blogs, social networks, any of these new technologies, and yet they're worried about the legal and all the other negative sides? Yeah, um, I think the first advice is use it. <laughs> use the social network, use YouTube, uh, use the information technology in general, uh, because uh, Use uh, technology is the best way to uh, give an education about this technology. So I think uh, a good advice is uh, use this technology um, with the student, not for example, uh, a good way to use a social network is not that the teacher uh, make an account and uh, give it uh, to the student or the teacher make uh, a video and post it on YouTube. No, I think it's the correct use is make together, together is uh, um, make a video together and in the moment in which we public this video I can, uh, I, can I can tell, I can explain to the students the risk and the benefit of this video. For example, I can uh, make this video public or not. Uh, and in, in this moment, we can make a, a real education about a good use uh, uh, of internet uh, in an approach of a good sense. Mm -hmm. So, teaching by doing, basically. Yeah, teaching by doing with technology. Mm -hmm. uh, okay, uh, last question. Uh, interactive whiteboards, do you love them or do you hate them? Uh, if the interactive whiteboard is uh, used in a correct way, I love the interactive whiteboard. But uh, if uh, the interactive whiteboard is only one of a lot of technology we, that we put in the school, uh, I think it's um, is not a good uh, thing. But uh, if we uh, invest in teacher trainings for a good use of interactive whiteboard, 
I think it's a very good technology. Thank you, Michele. Is there anything else that you want to tell us? Yeah, don't be scared by technology. Use it and uh, make it normal, make it uh, every day. Uh, you have to use technology in the school, in the family, in the society. Pay attention in a correct way. Okay, thank you, Michele. Thank you to you. Oh, cool, cool, cool.